29 years, the F-A-18 Super Hornet has successfully protected the seas and skies around the world. But it all started with E-1. It's going to be a good airplane. The airplane handles nice. Uh, it's the, uh, felt like while I was flying, I thought I was flying the future, you know? This past year, E-1 returned to its birthplace in St. Louis, Missouri, and was restored by dozens of Boeing employees. And in August of 2024, it was officially unveiled at the National Museum of Transportation. Welcome to the National Museum of Transportation and the dedication of our newest exhibit, F-18 E-1, the very first Super Hornet. For those of you who first meeting E-1, understand that it is the first of one of, if not arguably, the most successful naval aircraft in aviation history. But E-1's legacy is still being written today. As Boeing continues to do upgrades to the airplane, it has maintained relevancy during its entire 30 years of service and as evidenced by the USS Eisenhower's recent deployment with four F-18 Super Hornet squadrons there, they're the state of the art. Super Hornet's gonna fly into the 2040s, Growler's gonna fly into the 2050s. Our job is to keep the platform modern and relevant and keep it up to the current fight. You see what, what the airplane can do today. Those are Block 2s. Block 3s are just starting to deploy in the Pacific. The, the future is bright for the F-18 because it needs to be. Everything that you know about the F-18s today, whether it's Top Gun Maverick or the Blue Angels or the flight deck of of our aircraft carriers or naval aviation power all started with this airplane. What will people say in 20 years? They'll go, this airplane was and continues to be the workhorse of the fleet.